This is the small overlap crash test. It's one of several demanding evaluations conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. When these tests were first introduced, they often challenged vehicles and publicly exposed their unsafe results. Most automakers took this seriously and rolled out improvements as quickly as possible. In this video, we'll explore the remarkable progress in auto safety that this dynamic has created. The 2022 Honda Pilot had trouble in the updated side impact test. Its structure had significant intrusion. The driver and passenger dummies also experienced a high risk for injuries. For 2023, Honda redesigned the Pilot and made big safety improvements. We can see how dramatic these changes are when looking at the structural intrusion numbers. The distance between the Pilot's B-pillar and seat center line is 12.5 centimeters in the older version. The new one more than doubles this number, coming in at 32 centimeters. The recorded injury measures are also much lower in the new one. This 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee suffers high intrusion in the small overlap test. We can see that it causes the partial deformation of the door hinge pillar. This intrusion exposed the dummy to high injury forces in the left leg. This generation of Grand Cherokee languished on the market for a decade before it was finally redesigned for the 2022 model year. Fortunately, this redesign fixed the Grand Cherokee's issues. The structure did much better. Lower compartment intrusion fell from 22 to 10 centimeters. The dummy also recorded low injury forces to all body areas. The 2021 Honda HRV performed poorly in the updated moderate overlap test. The rear seat dummy submarined under the lap belt. This dummy also recorded an extremely high risk of injuries to the head, neck, and chest. All these issues were resolved when Honda redesigned the HRV for the 2023 model year. The new HRV now scores the highest rating of good in this test. The 2013 Ford Escape received the lowest rating of poor in the small overlap crash test. It experienced partial structural collapse. The dummy slipped off the airbag, leaving the head unprotected. Overall, it's an extremely unsafe vehicle. Fortunately, Ford didn't wait until the Escape was fully redesigned to make important improvements. In 2017, they made significant modifications to strengthen the Escape's structure. Notably, Ford reduced intrusion of the upper hinge pillar from 25 centimeters to 12 centimeters. There's still an issue with the dummy's head slipping off the airbag, but this is mitigated by the side curtain airbag that was extended forward. However, it was in 2020 when the Escape really saw progress. This fully redesigned model received a new structure that was optimized for the small overlap test. Intrusion into the upper hinge pillar dropped to a remarkable one centimeter. Look at the incredible difference in the survival space between the 2013 and 2020 versions of the Escape. The issue with the dummy's head sliding off the airbag was also finally resolved in this 2020 model. This 2021 BMW X1 did decently well in the passenger small overlap test. The structure though did have a moderate amount of intrusion. For 2023, BMW redesigned the X1 and significantly strengthened the structure. Peak intrusion in the upper compartment went from 11 centimeters to two centimeters. When looking at the door frame of the two models, we can see that the new one is visibly less stressed than the older one. The 2014 Kia Forte is no match for the small overlap test. The intrusion was so bad that it deformed the hinge pillar and A pillar. The dummy's head also slid off the airbag and hit the intruding A pillar. Kia responded by quickly making structural improvements to the 2015 Forte. There's still a lot of intrusion, but it's less than the 2014 model. For instance, intrusion of the upper hinge pillar drops from 28 to 16 centimeters. The restraints in the 2015 version also do a slightly better job of controlling the dummy although the head does hit the instrument panel. For 2017, Kia made even more improvements to the Forte. Structural intrusion was significantly reduced. Upper hinge pillar intrusion was further reduced to an extremely low two centimeters. Dummy movement is now well controlled, and the only thing the dummy's head struck was the airbag. It's remarkable that Kia was able to achieve this near flawless performance without a full redesign. This 2015 Toyota RAV4 completely failed this passenger small overlap test, scoring the lowest rating of poor. 
the structure experienced catastrophic intrusion, up to an incredible 40 centimeters in the lower compartment. To make matters worse, the passenger door also opened, exposing the occupant to a high risk of partial ejection. Fortunately, Toyota made remarkable improvements when redesigning the vehicle for the 2019 model year. Intrusion fell to only 6 centimeters in the lower compartment. The door in the redesigned version also stayed shut throughout the crash. The newer version has considerably more survival space than the older version. This 2012 C-Class's performance in the small overlap crash test was not Mercedes's finest hour. The biggest problem was a very high 32 centimeters of intrusion into the lower part of the occupant compartment. We can see here that the tire, which is painted white, ends up next to the dummy's feet. The side curtain airbag also didn't deploy, leaving the dummy's head vulnerable to striking a hard surface. For 2013, Mercedes reprogrammed the side curtain airbags to deploy in collisions like this. Unfortunately, no structural improvements were made for 2013. The new structure came in 2015, when the C-Class was fully redesigned. The improvements were dramatic, with the amount of intrusion into the lower part of the compartment dropping from 32 to 10 centimeters. Images of this intrusion show a day and night difference between model years. The 2012 Lexus IS has even worse structural issues in the small overlap test than its C-Class competitor. It's so poor that it leaves the dummy with insufficient survival space and dangerously traps the dummy's foot beneath the brake pedal. The 2017 version does much better. The structure maintains its integrity and leaves the dummy with plenty of survival space. Look at the dramatic difference between the two generations of IS. The airbags in the 2017 version also do a much better job of shielding the dummy's head than in the one from 2012. In the small overlap test, this 2014 BMW 5 Series suffers from high intrusion into the lower occupant compartment. This image shows just how significant the intrusion is. This resulted in a high risk of injury to the left leg. BMW completely resolved this issue when they redesigned the 5 Series in 2017. As part of the redesign, they changed the 5 Series small overlap crash strategy so that the car gently glances off the barrier. Look how this compares to the less effective defensive strategy of the older version, which results in a more abrupt deceleration of the occupants. The difference between the two model years is dramatic. Intrusion into the lower occupant compartment fell from 30 to 12 centimeters. The dummy in the newer version also recorded a low risk of injuries. To see some of the most extreme crash tests from the 90s, check out this video. Thanks for watching.